Those are the two options, waterproof or non-waterproof. I don't use waterproof, so I use non-waterproof. <laughs> Welcome back. So I've got my February favorites here for you today. So I'm going to quickly run through my overall Friday favorites and then I have some other makeup -y things that you have not heard about yet. Um, some body care favorites, skin care, and hair care. So kind of a hodgepodge, sort of like my monthly favorites always are. So let's jump into it. So quickly running through my overall Friday favorites, my eye favorites for the month. One is the NYX Strobe of Genius Illuminating Palette. I guess technically this would be an eye favorite and a face favorite because I was wearing this both ways and I love it. Like I pretty much can't put it down ever since I got it. I keep grabbing for it. I keep wearing it. I love it so much. And then the Wet n Wild, this is part of their new spring collection. This is in the New Romantics. This is so glowy and beautiful and amazing. I love it. I have the pink shade on my lid today. These are just so pretty. I have a review video on this and I do swatch um, both of these in Friday Favorites if you wanna check that out. And I swatch this in my review as well. And then for cheeks and lips, I love this blush from CoverGirl. This is the True Blend Blush in Medium Rose. This is just the most beautiful, kind of like subtle, rosy, glowy, pretty much go with everything sort of a blush. It blends into the skin nicely, it wears well. I just love this so much. For lips, I had a really hard time picking as usual, so I have three. Um, I love the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick in Bocce. I'm wearing it by itself today. I was wearing it in my Friday Favorites when I mentioned it with this one. This is Kat Von D's Lovesick, which I also love by itself. So these are gorgeous by themselves, but also really pretty together. And then I love this Alter Ego Lipstick from Lorac. This is in The Nudist. This is so pretty. Is it in The Nudist? No, just Nudist, not The Nudist, in Nudist. It's just a really pretty nude color. And it's kind of like a warm nude. I really like this, wears really well. Now for some makeup -y favorites that I have not mentioned in Friday Favorites. I really, really enjoy this stick foundation from Lancome. This is the Tintai Doll Ultra Wear Makeup Stick. And I do have a review and a demo video on this. If you wanna see that, you can check that out and hear more of my thoughts. But I just love it. It glides onto the skin so nicely. It's easy to use. You just like swipe, 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 buff it in. You're good to go. It wears really well throughout the day. It's just kind of expansive. That's really the only kind of negative I have to say about it. But I love how easy it is to use. I love the finish. I love the wear time. It's awesome. This was really the month for highlighters and just like glowy eye looks, glowy inner corners on my eyes, glowy cheekbones. I was just all about the highlight all over my face. So I was loving the NYX um, Strobe of Genius palette. And then also even just, you know, those eyeshadows I showed you, those are kind of glowy and highlighty too. But I also loved these two highlights. First off is the Dose of Colors Baked Highlight in Pearl Dust. Oh my. If you love a pink highlight, you need this in your life because it is so beautiful. This is my favorite pinky toned highlight that I have that I've ever used in general. It is just a beautiful glowy pink highlight. And it's not like super pink. It's kind of really almost like a white highlight with just a little bit of a pink sort of shift duochrome something something going on with it, but it's amazing. Love it so much. And it does really blend into the skin so nicely. I really like the Dose of Colors highlighters. I think they're so nice. And then this one is the Pure Cosmetics Afterglow Illuminating Powder. I love this one because I feel like it's kind of a do-it-all, staple, never fail ya sort of a highlight color. It's really, really beautiful, but it has a really nice texture. I am wearing this one and also the Pearl Dust. I just kind of like went highlight ham today. So I have this one on the inner corners of my eyes, but also on my cheekbones, but then also pearl dust on my cheekbones and I don't remember else. What else? I think I did put some of the NYX on the inner corner of my eyes. I don't know. I was just feeling all the highlights. So this one is, it's kind of very golden, but I don't feel like it shows up super duper golden on the skin. It's kind of more like a white gold. And I do feel like this is one that you can really like layer it and get it to be a lot more dramatic, or you can go kind of lighter with it. I'm gonna show you the two different options. 
go lighter with it and then it's more subtle. So there it is sort of light and there it is kind of more wha-bam. So you know what I mean? Like it's a good universal shade, but also I feel like the formula makes it really easy to work with and kind of gives you some versatility there. Really, really pretty. I love this highlighter. I don't know why I was just really feeling the highlighters this month, loving them. I have a couple of skincare favorites. First off, I got this at CVS recently and I've really been enjoying it. This is the Garnier Skin Active Micellar Cleansing Water and this is the regular one. So this isn't the one with the, well clearly it's not the one with the blue cap, but the blue cap one is supposed to be the one that removes waterproof. But I don't really use waterproof eye makeup really. I pretty much just use, you know, regular non-waterproof. Those are the two options, waterproof or non-waterproof. I don't use waterproof, so I use non-waterproof. <laughs> um, mascara, so I can just get away with using this and it works just fine. Um, and it says, um, all in one removes makeup plus cleanses plus refreshes. And I really do like it for that. Like I use this kind of as my first step to mainly remove my eye makeup and my brows. But sometimes I'll kind of like run it all over my face. Kind of just depends on what I'm feeling like that day. But it works for me. I mean, I don't know how well this would work, like depending on what makeup products you use. So I think it's kind of like you have to find the one that works for you. So either the pink one or the blue one. But I wondered if the blue one would be kind of oily feeling and I don't like that feeling. So if you've tried that one, let me know how it is. But I really like the pink one. I think it works really well. And this has been my go-to day cream recently. This is the Boots Botanics, The Power of Plants, Hydrating Day Cream. And it says 81% organic with nourishing rosehip. So I got this in a Vox box, and I think it was maybe my Jingle Vox box. Um, and I just started using it, you know, after I received it in that box, and I've pretty much been using it ever since then. It's just a really nice cream. Like, it looks like a cream, but then when I go to rub it into my skin, it's very kind of almost gel feeling. So it sinks in really quickly. It doesn't feel heavy or greasy or cakey on my skin. So it feels very light, but also very hydrating. So I love that about it. it has like an herbally sort of a scent to it. And I hear really good things about rosehip. I've heard that it's supposed to be kind of like nature's Botox, which I'll take any natural Botox there is out there. So I love that rosehip is in there. Um, I don't know that I've noticed like any major differences in my fine lines since using this, but I do really like the texture of it and I think it works really well under makeup. A hair care favorite for the month is the Dry Bar Triple Sec 3-in-1. Texturizes, amplifies, refreshes. It has my name on it because I got it in gratis from Sephora. Um, but I've really been liking this for kind of a different purpose. So I had been almost trying to use this as a dry shampoo and I really wasn't liking it that way. Well, it's really not that sort of a product. They have a dry shampoo. This is more supposed to be like a texturizer spray that also kind of gives some life back to your hair. But what I've been using it for is when I've just freshly washed my hair. Like I just washed my hair today and my hair is baby soft. It's very soft, that's why I wear so much hairspray because it gives my hair some texture. But when I am curling my hair, what I'll do is I'll section my hair and I've been spraying some of this kind of at the roots to just sort of give some texture to my hair and then I'll spray with a little bit of hairspray too, also heat protectant as well. Um, but just to kind of try to give my hair a little bit of texture to be able to hold curl better um, and also just give my hair some volume. So I really do like this, it has a really nice scent. Sometimes the scent can give me a headache because it's pretty strong, but it smells really yummy. It's like, um, very like coconut, vanilla, almond sort of a scent, but it, it's pretty strong smelling, um, but it's a nice scent. I really do like this though. So now that I've been using it kind of in a different way, I like this a lot more. And then lastly, a body care item that is a total YouTube made me buy it item, but that I absolutely agree with the hype. I think that this lives up to the hype in my opinion. This is a Trader Joe's Coconut Body Butter. This is so yummy. And I've heard people talk about different scents, not just the coconut, but I wanna say they have like seasonal ones or something, but I got the coconut one. And it says luxurious body butter made with coconut oil, shea butter, and vitamin E. And oh my goodness, yes, this is so good. Like just look at it. It just looks like a spa experience. It just, oh my gosh, 
Love it so much. Okay, so I'm really good about skincare on my face. I'm really consistent with that. But the poor rest of my body, like lotions, oils, actually hydrating the rest of my body, no. I'm really bad about remembering that. And I've mentioned that before on my channel. I don't know why I'm just not good about using lotions. I've actually been using this this month. Not every night, but more than I normally do. It just, like the texture of it is so nice. It's a little bit greasy feeling, but not as much as some that I've used. It just feels very hydrating and it sinks into the skin well. But you can feel it a little bit, like while it's still kind of sinking in. So it feels really nice. It smells really yummy. You can smell that shea butter. You can smell that coconut oil. It's just like a nice experience. I love it so much. And a bonus to it, this was really inexpensive. This was like 550 ish or so, which is so impressive for this giant tub. So I think they had a pomegranate one, so I want to go back and get the pomegranate. And if they have like seasonal ones, I'll probably get those too. I'm just so impressed with it. I love it so much. All right guys, so those are all my February favorites. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video. Please hit a thumbs up if you did and let me know down below what you were loving in February or maybe not so much loving. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.